Hey, it's Jesus Castillo from rubyguides.com and today I have another video for you. I think it's a very important video because in this video you're going to discover what's possible to do with Ruby. Use Ruby and you don't need Rails because Rails is just a framework. It's a tool that it's built on top of Ruby and Ruby itself is a programming language. It's what allows for all of these things to work. Okay, so in this video you will see a few examples of what you can do with Ruby. So hopefully this will give you some ideas for projects that you can do yourself or at least open up your mind uh, to the possibilities that you have when you're using Ruby. So let's take a look. So Ruby is a general programming language. That means that it's not limited to a particular application. It's not limited to one thing. It can do many things. And one of these things which is helpful and useful is called web scrapping. What's web scrapping? Well, web scrapping is when you go to a website and you want to extract some information, get some information from that site. So one example I have here in my screen is Wikipedia. So in Wikipedia, you might find these tables like this tables of U US um, cities, right? We have New York, um, Los Angeles, Chicago, and its population and its rank as, and then what you can do is you can use Ruby to go to this page, to load the HTML from this page. And then from that, you can convert the data into something you can use into Ruby objects. So that can be a hash, it can be a struct, it can be your own um, Ruby objects. You can create your own class and then create objects from that. And that will give you access to this data inside your application. So you can use it for whatever you want. So that's one thing you can do with Ruby. And of course, not only for Wikipedia, you can do this with other websites. Not every website owner is happy that you do this. So check their terms of services and things like that. But it's something that you can actually do. So another thing that you can do is CLI application. So CLI stands for Command Line Interface. Command Line Interface. So here's what I mean. When you use Rails, Rails itself the, is a command. It's a command line interface. Because you can do Rails New, Rails Generate, Rails Scaffold, all of these commands you do in the terminal, right? You open that um, usually black window with white text and you type commands and you type these types of commands. And these are command line applications. And Ruby is really good for this, okay? As demonstrated by Rails itself. Now you can also build backup applications. If you want to do like weekly backups of your files, things like that, then you can use, you can write a Ruby program that gathers, that pulls together all of the files that you want to use for the backup and create a new uh, like compressed file for that using something like gzip, or some other um, compression algorithm. 
Um, you can also use uh, Ruby for creating file file analysis applications. So, for example, you can read a file and find out if it's a text file, is it, if it's a CSV file, if it's an image, if it's a binary, right? And you can also find more information about a file. So if you have a text file, you can find out how many characters are there, how many words are there, or even what are the most uh, used words, what are the most popular words inside this document, inside this text, right? That can be helpful. And for a file, you can find the file, the image. I mean, for an image, you can find the image dimensions, how wide is the image, how, what's the height of the image, even what colors are being used in that image, things like that. So that's fine analysis applications. You can also build developer tools for yourself and for your team. Right, if you're working on a team, maybe you need some developer tool that is going to make something that you do in your project easier. What are some examples where Rubocop is one such tool that can help you? Um, RSpec itself, the test runner, is also a developer tool, right? And there are many others built in Ruby that help you as you are building your applications. So you can build your own as well. Another thing you can do, I hope you are realizing how many opportunities, how many things you can do. It's not limited to just building websites, right? So another thing you can do is parsing, data cleaning, and filtering, right? So you might have something, some files that have data in an invalid format. Uh, so for example, it might have invalid dates or invalid phone numbers. And you can use Ruby to go over these files and clean them up, remove the invalid data or fix it. So that's another thing you can do. And my last example here is you can build report generators, right? Like invoices. You can make an invoice generator, uh, make that a PDF or even an HTML or CSV. And you can build other kinds of reports using Ruby. So another kind of application you can build using Ruby, remember this Ruby only, you might need to use some gems to help you, but most of those don't, all of these don't require rails, okay? So this last category I have for you is network-based application. Network-based application. What's a network-based application? Well, anything that works with your local um, network or with the internet. So, for example, a web server is a network way, a network-based application. A port scanner, right, uh, is also a network-based application. An API client. client so a program, a Ruby program that connects to like Twitter's API to request information, like what's the last um, the last tweet from a specific uh, user on Twitter, right? Or things like that. You can build these API cli clients if they don't already exist. Stats network-based application, anything that has to do with the network. And Ruby is also really good for this. So that's just a few of the examples of things that you can build with Ruby. So you can see there is plenty of opportunity and opportunity is always exciting. 
So I hope that you use some of these ideas and build your own applications. In fact, comment down below in the comments um, below this video and let me know what you are building or what you are going to build with Ruby. Okay, I want to see your Ruby projects. So post them in the comments. So that's it for this video. The message here, very important, the very important message here is that Ruby is very powerful language and it can be used for many things. I hope you like this video. Please click the like button for me so I know that you like it and so more people can find and benefit from this information. If you want to learn more, watch more of my videos in the channel right now. There are over 100 videos you can watch to keep learning. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet so that you can keep, you can keep getting more videos like this and visit my website rubyguides.com rubyguides.com in my website you will find also over 100 helpful articles guides and tutorials to help you become a better ruby developer thanks a lot for watching i will see you in the next video